Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Marsha, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today, I am going to be trying out TikTok foods. Now, you know me, I love, love, love food. So I saw these videos and I was like, I have to do one of those because I wanna try some new things and I love food. So what better thing than to test out foods? Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button right down there if you haven't already and let me know in the comments down below if you do that so i can thank you guys so let's get started anyways guys so the first thing involves oreos cream cheese and then some white chocolate so the first thing i have to do is crush my oreos and they did theirs in a blender so i'm going to put mine in my blender got all those should I make more no I'm just gonna make that much then you have to add cream cheese and they didn't say how much so I'm just gonna guess kind of how much to put in there I'm gonna put about this much in My daughter just woke up, and you guys have no idea how she looks. Say hi, everybody. Tell them hi. Tell them hi. Her hair is getting so crazy. <laughs> Lydia, look, say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, she's so tired still. Can you just mix your Oreos? and your cream cheese together. Oh, oh, I'm getting it all over you guys. I feel like mixing it with my hand. Would that be gross? I think I'm going to because I have to put them in balls anyway. So I'm gonna mix them with my hand. Okay guys, this is how it looks. Now I have to put them in little balls and put them on a sheet. This is how they look. They just want to roll everywhere. And now I have to put them in the freezer for 30 minutes. So I'm going to stick these in the freezer and then go on with some other food recipes. Okay, guys. So the next one is a macaronis and you make them in the microwave. And I love macaronis. They are, oh, I love macaronis. It's just like my favorite thing. So the first thing you do, you get a big mug. This is the biggest mug I have, so I'm using this one. And then you put like, I'm gonna put like a cup. I'm gonna put like a cup or almost a cup. And then they said to put water so it like covers it almost like just a little bit fit over the top that's how much water you put in butter well not quite a cup like a half cup of water and then you put this in the microwave for two minutes okay it's been two minutes and they're not done yet y'all like they're still hard no, they're not cooked at all, so I'm gonna put more water and put it back in for two more minutes. Guys, my neck is so sore from this weekend. We went out on the lake and I went tubing. My neck is so sore, like, oh my God, I just need to crack it. Oh, oh my word. Woo. I got you, didn't I? If I got you, let me know in the comments so I can laugh. Okay guys, it's been two more minutes. 
they're still hard. Like, okay, they're a little chewier. So I have to put it back in one more time. So I'm just going to leave them like that. You add three tablespoons of milk. put cheese in now for my macarons I usually put Velveeta cheese in but everybody else was putting like this kind of cheese in so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put like that much in I like a lot of cheese so let me stir it around and see if that's enough nah, I want more cheese I actually never had macaroni and cheese this way with like this kind of cheese Okay, that looks like it's cheesy enough. Now I'm going to go put it back in the microwave for one minute. Okay guys, it is done. This is how it looks. Woo, it's kind of hot. That's how it looks. Let me stir it up. Okay, now let's try it. Mmm. <sighs> it's a little too hot, but it tastes exactly like macaroni and cheese, and it is good. Like, what? Microwave? Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it, Jonathan? Oh, God. He doesn't want to try it. Macaroni and cheese is like my favorite. And if I can make a little snack, like... The macaroni actually got softened after I put it in for the third time, so... This, this is good. One more bite, then I'm done. One more. Guys, so the next one, you need a loaf of bread, a rolling pin, Nutella, milk, cinnamon, eggs, and a knife. So you take however many pieces of bread that you want to make. I'm going to take two, take two pieces of bread, you cut off the crust. Then you take your crust and you roll it out like that. Then you take your Nutella, spread it like on the edge like this. Mom sees me do that, she's gonna die, okay? She will literally die. And you crack an egg in there. You put a little milk. And I'm not sure if they put cinnamon, but I want cinnamon in mine, so I put a little bit of cinnamon. You just beat it. Okay, guys, so for this, then you just take your little thing of bread and you roll it up like that. Oh, let me heat my pan. Spray it. Okay, and then roll these babies up. Then you take your little mixture here and you roll them in there. Okay, and then you just put it on your pan. Ugh. Okay. okay. Put it on your pan and then we're gonna fry these
Okay, guys, these are ready. This is how they look. Can you see them? This is how they look. So let's go ahead and try it. What? Oh my gosh. This is so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. I want to eat so many. But I told my brother I'd save this for him. But I want it now. You guys have to try this. Honestly, it was so good. So easy to make and it is so good. Go ahead and try these because they are worth it. So... Let's get on to the next TikTok food hack. Guys, hack number four. You take one cup of pancakes, a half cup of water, and you mix. After you have it all mixed, you take, they took a baggie, but I'm just going to take like my cake piping thing. You just take this. And, let me see if I can pour it in here. Okay, I have to use a spoon because this is not working. Spray cooking oil on it. We'll just take our pancake mix. I'm trying to like push it down. There we go. And then you just make little pancakes all over. Some of these are looking quite ready to flip. Okay guys, they are done. This is how they look. I'm going to just put some maple syrup on them. Let's try them. You guys, they taste exactly like a big pancake. But it would be fun for little kids. Let's see if she likes it. <laughs> Let's see. Is it nummies? Nummies? Oh, she wants more. Little pancakes are amazing they just taste like big can pancakes though so i mean it would be fun for little kids if you'd be doing it for your kids and yeah i think they would love it like that so now you guys these things are ready and they are hard and chilled so i'm gonna melt some chocolate I have melting wafers the chocolate took two minutes put it in the microwave for two minutes and now you just take these and you put them or roll them in the chocolate. And you sprinkle a little bit of your rest over Oreos on top to make it look cute. They're still a little like wet from the chocolate, so I'm going to put them back in the freezer for like a couple minutes until I can see that the chocolate is all dried and then I'll do a little taste test for you guys. They look actually very very cute like I made these yo in like 31, 35 minutes these were made and they look delicious. Guys here they are these look like they came fresh out of a bakery I mean I made these and look at them they're so cute one and try it <clears throat> I'm afraid if I open my mouth my teeth are like black but these are good like I will definitely make these again kind of taste like a creamy Oreo cake like they are perfect I love them okay guys that is it for today's video if you like this video please give it a big fat thumbs up and if you haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button right down there 
it is free for you and it would help me out a lot so go ahead and hit it and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye